Minerals Minerals form a vital part of our day-to-day -day life. You will hardly find anything around you that does not contain any mineral in it. From the salt that you add in your food, to the pen that you write with, the cream that you apply on your face, and the car that you ride, everything is made of minerals. Minerals are the rock-forming materials. All rocks are composed of one or more minerals. A rock that has a large concentration of a particular mineral is called the ore of that mineral. All minerals have a definite chemical composition and consist of one or more elements. They are identified on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Mineral Resources Minerals are important natural resources and have been used by humans since prehistoric times. Every new stage of human development is marked by the discovery of an important mineral and named after it. Early humans used stone to make tools and weapons. Thus, the first stage is known as Stone Age. Copper was the first metal to be discovered and its use marked the Copper Age. Then came the Bronze Age. Bronze is obtained by mixing copper and tin and later the Iron Age. In the modern world, Minerals provide the basis of industrial development of country. From the smallest objects like pins and nails to huge ships and aircraft, all are made of minerals. Types of Minerals Minerals may be organic in origin like coal and petroleum or inorganic. Organic minerals are also called mineral fuels or fossil fuels. Inorganic minerals are classified into two groups, metallic and non-metallic. Metallic minerals are those from which metals such as iron, copper, aluminium, gold and silver are derived. They are found as ores. Non-metallic minerals include limestone, sulphur, potash, nitrate, mica and gypsum. Most of the metallic minerals are found in igneous and metamorphic rocks while the non-metallic minerals are found in sedimentary rocks. Some minerals are also found in the alluvial deposits on riverbeds. Mining The extraction of mineral resources from the earth is called mining. The method of mining depends upon the depth at which the mineral is located. Surface mines, that is mines which are located very close to the surface, are called quarries. The method of open pit mining is practiced in such mines. When the minerals are located under the surface, deep holes called shafts have to be dug to reach them. This method is called shaft mining. The process of extraction of mineral oil is called drilling. It is done by digging deep wells called oil wells. Distribution of mineral resources Iron Iron is the commonest and most widely used metal. It is used to make steel, which is in turn the basis of all sorts of machinery, agricultural implements, transport equipment and items of daily use. Magnetite, hematite, limonite and siderite are the main varieties of iron ore with varying amounts of iron content. Magnetite has the highest iron content but hematite is more commonly used. The main iron producing countries are Russia, Ukraine, the USA, Canada, France, Sweden, Brazil, Venezuela, China, Australia, and India. Copper. It is mainly used in electrical industries to make electrical wires and appliances because of its high conductivity. It is also used to make alloys like brass, bronze, and German silver. The leading producers are the USA, Chile, Russia, Canada, Zambia, Zaire, Peru, and Poland. Bauxite. It is the ore of aluminium. Aluminium is a light metal used in manufacturing of aircraft and household utensils. It is also used to make electrical cables as it is a good conductor of electricity. Abundant supply of electricity is needed for the smelting of aluminium from bauxite. The main bauxite producing countries are Australia, Jamaica, Guinea, Suriname, Brazil, Guana, Hungary, and the USA. Manganese 
It is used in steel making and in making alloys. It is also used to manufacture bleaching powder, electrical batteries, glass articles and to color pottery, tiles and bricks. Russia is the world's largest producer of manganese. South Africa, Australia, Gabon, Brazil, India, China, Mexico and Ghana are other important producers. Gold Gold is a precious metal used in making jewellery. It is also a standard medium of foreign exchange. The international monetary system is backed by gold. The largest producer of gold is South Africa, Canada, Japan, the USA, Papua New Guinea, Australia, Philippines, Zimbabwe and Ghana are other major producers. Silver. It is used in chemicals, photography and coloring glasses. In India, silver is produced in Rajasthan and Jharkhand. Major silver producers in the world are Peru, Mexico, China, Australia, Chile, Russia, Bolivia, USA, Poland and Canada. Uranium. It is used to produce nuclear energy. In India, it is from in the states of Andhra Pradesh and Jharkhand. The major uranium deposits of the world are found in Australia, Canada, Brazil, Greenland, Kazakhstan and Namibia. Mineral Resources of India India is richly endowed with mineral resources. They provide a strong base for industry. The distribution of mineral resources, however, is uneven in India. The Chota Nagpur Plateau, the Tekken Plateau, and Damodar Valley are rich in minerals, but Indo Gangetic Plains do not have sufficient mineral resources. Conservation of Minerals The increasing world population and the demands of more and more people to have higher standards of living have resulted in the increased use of mineral resources. Minerals are non renewable. Once consumed, they are completely exhausted and cannot be regenerated soon. We have to use our mineral resources in a planned way so that the future generation is not deprived of them. The ways in which minerals can be conserved are recycling. Many metals like iron, gold, silver and aluminium, once discarded can be reused by cycling. Avoiding Wastage Efficient methods of mining and smelting can avoid wastage of minerals. While using them also, we should take care not to waste. Substitutes Alternates to minerals like biodegradable plastic, wood and other substitutes should be more widely used. Power Resources Power resources are those resources which are used to generate power or energy. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are the main sources of power. The modern world runs on power. With the rising economic development in the world, the demand for power resources also keeps increasing. Sources of Power Coal Coal is organic in nature. It is obtained from decayed plants which got buried under sediments. They decompose and were compressed under subsequent deposits. In course of time, due to action of heat and pressure, they transformed into coal. Coal is known as fossil fuel. Coal was the basis of the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century. It was used to produce steam power, which provided the main driving force in running machinery in factories, railway locomotives and ships. Later coal was used to generate thermal electricity. Coal occurs between the layers of sedimentary rocks. Generally, coal is available in four varieties. Their quality depends on their carbon content. Anthracite is the finest quality coal with about 90% carbon. Bituminous is the most widely available, while lignite and peat are inferior varieties of coal. The world's largest coal reserves are in Russia, the USA, China, Ukraine, Poland, South Africa, India, Australia, the UK and Germany also have rich coal reserves. The importance of coal as a transport fuel and in generating thermal electricity is declining due to the increased use of petroleum, natural gas and nuclear fuels. Petroleum This is another fossil fuel which is of tremendous importance. It is derived from organic materials trapped in sediments as they were deposited on the seabed. 
Thus, the major oil fields are located along the boundaries of young fold mountains, coastal regions, and offshore areas. Petroleum has contributed greatly to industrial development in the world. It serves as a transport fuel, lubricant, aluminum, and a raw material for a variety of products. Crude petroleum is refined to yield petrol, diesel, and kerosene. A wide range of other byproducts are obtained from it, including synthetic textiles, fertilizers, insecticides, plastics, asphalt, synthetic rubber, drugs, and wax. About two-thirds of the total reserves of petroleum are located around the Persian Gulf in Southwest Asia. In this region, the major petroleum producing countries are Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Iran, Iraq, Bahrain, Qatar, and UAE. Other important producers are the USA, Russia, China, Venezuela, Nigeria, Libya, Algeria, Indonesia, and India. Natural gas. It occurs in association with petroleum in the same geological structures. Some fields yield only natural gas. It is a mixture of gaseous hydrocarbons consisting mainly of methane. The other gases include ethane, propane, and butane. Natural gas is used as a transport fuel, that is CNG or compressed natural gas, domestic fuel, LPG or liquefied petroleum gas, and for generating electricity. It is also used as a raw material for the manufacture of fertilizers and petrochemicals like plastics, synthetic rubber, and artificial fibers. The USA has the world's largest reserves of natural gas. Russia, Netherlands, Germany, Romania, China, Iran, Mexico, and India are other important producers.